Hey everybody, my name is Eric and I'm the Chief Engineer for the Oshkosh S-Series. Today I'm going to train you on the pusher and tag auxiliary axle controls. If equipped, use the driveline keypad buttons shown to control the pusher and tag axle on your truck. The top button controls the forward pusher axle up and down, while the bottom button controls the rear tag axle up and down. To deploy either the pusher axle or the tag axle, press the button once. If the vehicle is stationary and the park brake is applied, a multi-tone alarm will sound and the vehicle will wait three seconds before it deploys the axle. During axle deployment, the LED will blink, indicating that the axle is transitioning states from up to down. Once the axle has built up 20 PSI of down pressure, the LED will remain solid, indicating that the axle is deployed. Other notifications of the axle positions can be found on the instrument cluster as well as the overhead display. The same alarm and time delay will be used prior to lifting the axle when the truck has the park brake applied. When lifting, the LED will blink indicating that the axle is changing states. When lifted, the LED will turn off. If the vehicle's park brake is not applied, the pusher and tag axle will deploy and lift as soon as the button is pressed and no alarm will sound. This allows the axles to react more quickly during on-road vehicle movement. If the axles are down and the vehicle is put into reverse, the auxiliary axles will automatically lift to the raised position. Raising of the axle prevents self-steering of the wheels and possible truck damage if the wheels were to contact the ground during reverse operation. If equipped, centering lockout kits will also deploy and keep the wheels straight when in the lifted position to prevent any off-road tire scrub. Once put back into gear, the axles will redeploy to their previous state. Auxiliary axles should not be raised for off-highway operation when loaded if a 5 mile an hour speed limit will be exceeded. Overloading any axle will void warranty. Adjust axle pressure settings by using either the interior or exterior air regulators, whichever your truck is equipped with. The suspension pressure for both pusher and tag axles is indicated on the overhead display. Pressure is increased by turning the regulator knob clockwise. Pressure is reduced by turning the regulator knob counterclockwise. Because of hysteresis in the air valves and air system, it is important to ensure the chassis air pressure is full before adjusting axles. It is also important that the targeted axle air pressure levels out and remains steady prior to operating the vehicle. The air system will naturally lag the instantaneous adjustment of the pressure regulator. Watch the overhead display after adjusting the regulators to ensure the target pressure is met. It is the responsibility of the operator to ensure that the pressure settings balance the payload on the truck correctly and that the state and federal weight laws are met. Poor weight balance can make the vehicle handling unsafe. Actual scale weights should be obtained to ensure the correct pressure settings are being used on your vehicle. Raise all auxiliary axles whenever the truck is being parked to achieve the vehicle's maximum parking brake capability. And that's how you use your pusher and tag auxiliary axles. If you have questions, contact your local sales rep.